Coming up on today's episode of The Flair, a reveal of the winners for the door competition, a look into Bolivia, your daily sports report, and more. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, mm -hmm. under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good, Good morning, morning Firebirds. Firebirds. I'm Casey Eamon. And I'm Michael Gonzalez. Today is Tuesday, October 10th, and the flare starts, starts now. now. Three, two, one. We had some chilly weather yesterday, didn't we? Yes, we did. Miami has its ups and downs with the weather that we don't know if we need a jacket or an umbrella. Well, good thing we have Kareem Hassan to update us on our daily weather report to know what to expect. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Kareem Hassan with today's weather report. Today in Doral, there's going to be a pretty high of 89 and a pretty low of 77. The UV index is a pretty high 7, so make sure not to skip class today. Also, around 2 p.m., there's a 30% chance of rain, so make sure to use your umbrella after 7th period, just in case. Well, that's everything for today. I'm Kareem Hassan. Now back to your anchors. Thank you, Kareem. Looks like the chilly weather wasn't planning to stick around for long. I'll make sure to bring my umbrella. Anyways, did you find out the winners of the door competition? I sure did. These last few weeks, teachers have been competing by decorating their doors representing a Hispanic country. In first place, we have room 517H with their Mexico door. In second place, we have room 417H with their Spain door. And in third place, we have room 607H with Puerto Rico. Congratulations to all teachers and Firebirds with your creativeness. It's so cool that we get to have a full month to celebrate Hispanic heritage. I know. Well, today we'll be learning a little bit more about Bolivia and its beauty. It's such an attractive country with one of the world's biggest wildlife. That sounds so interesting. Let's check out more info with Samantha Ruiz. Good morning, Firebirds. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we'll be learning about different Hispanic countries. We have already learned about two other countries, Honduras and Costa Rica. Today, we are going to learn about Bolivia. Bolivia's flag consists of three stripes with different colors. Each color represents a unique aspect of the country. The red stands for Bolivia's brave soldiers, the green symbolizes fertility, and the yellow, the nation's mineral deposits. Tinku, meaning meeting encounter, is a form of ritualistic dance of Bolivian Aymara origin. During the dance, men and women from different communities will join and begin the festivities by dancing. After all that dancing, you might be in for a treat. The anticucho is one of the many typical dishes to eat in Bolivia. This dish is a kind of meat brochet with potatoes. It is cooked on the grill and served with a spicy peanut sauce. Now let's see how well you have listened with some 10 second trivia. What traditional dance in Bolivia means meeting encounter? A. Pintu B. Tinku C. Garifuna D. Aymara What is anticucho? A, a city, B, a traditional dance, C, a typical dish, or D, a language? We hope you enjoyed learning about Bolivia. Reporting for Fiber TV, I am Samantha Ruiz. Wow, Bolivia is so beautiful and rich of culture. But now it's time for what most of us struggle with, important dates. It's time for your daily announcements to make sure you are fully informed. Remember, those in the Middle School TV Production Club, there will be a meeting today at 3.40 to 4.30 in Ms. Diaz's room, 315C. Bible Club will be having their first official meeting tomorrow at 2.40 p.m. in room 421H. Wednesdays and Thursdays, middle school will be having tutoring for comprehensive science from 7.20 to 8.20 a.m. 
at room 208A. There will be a photo club meeting at room Med A on Thursday, October 12th at 2.30 p.m. There will be a Chipotle fundraiser on Wednesday, October 11th from 4 to 8 p.m. Students who spend $10 will get the chance to receive five volunteer hours. Senior breakfast will be this October 17th at 10 a.m. at the Rusty Pelican. Tryouts for girls soccer will be October 16th from 6.15 to 8.30 p.m. and the 18th of October from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Class of 2025. Make sure to pick up your box of the world's finest chocolate in room 306H as an opportunity of earning volunteer hours. Class of 2025, make sure to order your Edda's cake for fundraiser online with a minimum of two cakes sold or a donation of 30. Seniors, order your Edda's cake online by October 18th. You must sell a minimum of three cakes or make a $50 donation to participate in senior activities. 2023 to 2024 yearbook sales are now open. Make sure to order one before November 30th. Volunteer hours are an essential part of high school and future college resumes, but it's not only for application use. Really? I didn't know. Yes, but here's Nicolas Castillo to tell us more on the use of volunteer hours. The minimum service hours for graduation here at Doral Academy are 25 hours. It is highly recommended to complete from 75 to 100 hours to qualify for scholarships such as Bright Futures. Having a numerous amount of hours shows colleges, universities, and scholarship programs that a student is willing to take the time to help the community in a meaningful way. For all students wondering how to track down events and other volunteer hour opportunities, you can always go to the City of Doral website and message the organizer saying you would like to volunteer. Remember to print the cover letter found in the Doral Academy website and attach it to the documentation or proof of your completed hours. Please then submit all completed documentation in person to your assigned counselor. Remember, completing your service hours is a requirement to graduate, so get them done as soon as possible. Reporting for Fiber TV, I'm Nicolas Castillo, now back to your anchors. With so much going on, I feel like it's impossible to keep up with our sports. I know, right? And now nearing the end of our fall sports, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Totally. Thankfully, we have Ana Remien to report us on our sports. Good morning, Firebirds, and welcome to your daily sports report. Tomorrow, our swim team will have a meet against Ransom in their pool. They will have a senior meet versus Key West on Saturday at the Florida Keys College. Best of luck, Firebirds. On Thursday, our golf team will participate in the Wolverine Classic at PGA. On Friday, our football team will have an away game against Columbus at 7 p.m. at Tropical Park. That's all for today's sports. Reporting from Firebird TV, I'm Ana Remien, now back to your anchors. That's all for today's edition of The Flare. Firebirds, don't forget to tune in again tomorrow. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Firebird TV. And we hope you have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.